In this video, I will share with you how I made this 3D model of a piano in Blender. First, I started by modeling the base of the piano. I scaled a cube down to size that will be the base for the piano keys. And from there, I modeled the wood pieces that frame the keys. To create the rounded slope on this side piece, I used a cube with the subdivision modifier. I still wanted to keep the other edges flat, so instead of adding a ton of loop cuts to define the edges, I just used Shift E on some of the edges to sharpen them. Then I added just a few loop cuts to define the shape of the slope and adjusted the edges to get the rounded angle that I wanted on the side piece. Another way to do this would be to bevel the edge with Control B and then press the P key to invert the direction of the bevel so that it cuts into the cube rather than rounding the outside. I found the subdivision modifier method to be easier though. I finished off the rest of the side of the piano frame using cubes with a bevel modifier, moving them into place with vertex snapping and mirroring them to the other side. Then I moved on to the piano keys. For some reason, I thought this part was going to be more complicated, but it was surprisingly simple to create piano keys. I started by scaling cubes for a white key and a black key based on real world measurements. Then I duplicated the black key and scaled it up a little bit so that I could cut out a space for the black key using the Boolean modifier. While I was modeling this, I was looking back and forth between my computer screen and my actual piano keyboard that was sitting next to me so that I could eyeball the spacing between the keys. Then I used an array modifier on both of the keys and on the Boolean cutout object, and I adjusted the spacing to create a full octave of piano keys. Then I duplicated the octaves until I had the number of keys I wanted. This piano has 76 keys. That's what I have in real life, and I'm going to be using this model in another scene that's based on real life. Though my actual piano stand is pretty sad compared to this one, but we can dream with 3D models, can't we? Once all of the piano keys were modeled, I positioned them in the piano frame and adjusted the height of the keys so that they were raised up above the base that they were sitting on. I also made a few overall adjustments to the piano frame and added the rest of the wooden pieces that still needed to be modeled, like the backboard behind the keys and the base where the pedals go. I realized that there might be technical terms for each of these pieces, so if you know them, feel free to leave them in the comments. I've never actually had an acoustic piano before, I've only owned a digital keyboard, but the reason I liked some of the inspiration pictures for this project is because it almost looks like you could build a frame around a digital piano and then just lift up the top when you need to adjust the dials. And the rest of the time, it just looks like an acoustic piano, which is super cool to me and something I kind of want to explore in the future. To model the pedals, I subdivided a cube to create some roundness and used Shift E again to sharpen the edges of the cube. I extruded and scaled the edges to create the oblong shape of the pedal, and then I moved the pedals into place. I also needed to cut out a spot in the base of the frame where the pedals go, so I scaled down a cube and used the Boolean modifier on the frame to cut out the cube as an opening for where the pedals would go. I also switched to using an array on the pedals and the Boolean cube to save myself from having to make adjustments to multiple objects. Then to model the seat, I scaled down a few cubes with a bevel modifier on them to create the frame of the seat. I used the mirror modifier on each of the pieces to duplicate them around the seat cushion. And for the seat cushion, I scaled down a cube and subdivided it to get rounded edges. Moving on to texturing, I UV unwrapped everything and used nodes to create a procedural wood material. I'm using this model in a semi-stylized scene later, so I just wanted to add a little bit of dimension to the materials and not a whole lot of realism. To create the procedural texture, I used a color ramp node and inputted two different colors, a lighter and a darker wood color. And then I plugged in a noise texture with texture coordinate and mapping nodes to adjust the scale and detail on the texture. I will link a simple tutorial in the video description for how to create this kind of procedural wood texture. I adjusted the sliders until I was satisfied, and then I applied this material to all of the wooden objects that make up the piano frame. I used a basic white and black material on the piano keys, 
and I also added a brown material to the petals. And for the seat, I was really just looking for a little bit of detail on the cushion. So I used a similar node set up to create a procedural texture for the fabric. This is the finished 3D model of a piano and blender. I hope you got something out of this video. Let me know in the comments if you liked the format of this video. Thank you for watching.